Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free plugin which will help you customize the WooCommerce website using the Elementor. So this works with the Elementor. You will get many different widgets that you can use to customize the layout of your WooCommerce website. The name of the plugin is Core Designer. This plugin has free as well as the pro version. In this video, I'm going to work on only the free version of the plugin. I'll show you what features are available in the free plugin and how you can use these features to customize your WooCommerce website. This is the website of the plugin. I'll give you the link in the description box if you want to see all the features and widgets available for this plugin so here you will see total 80 plus widgets are available free widgets these are the free widgets that you can use and these are the pro widgets you can also use these widgets in the template builder or the theme builder of the elementor let me show you an example here i have created a product slider this is a product slider created using the core designer plugin you will see sort using the price or the title name product price top seller order ascending descending here you will see a search box below that you will see a product slider this is also available in the free plugin so you can create product slider you can customize the layout currently it is showing three products in a slider you can change it to four products or two products in a slider below that we have another layout of the shop page you can use this layout to create shop page you will see some curvy product layout again you can change the style settings then below that we have image gallery this is an image gallery created using the free plugin then we have customer reviews you will see the customer reviews this is also in the slider option you can slide the customer reviews then we have tabs this is a new layout of the tabs you can customize the tabs this is another layout of the tab then we have product comparison. You will see the comparison between two images. Here I have used the related products widget in a single product page layout. These are the widgets available in the free plugin. You will see some widgets for the shop page. This is for the filter. You will see these are the widgets for the single product page layout. I have used the related product page. If I go to one of the products here, you will see at the bottom I have added the related products on a single product page layout. These widgets are for the single product. Then we have related products, image gallery, core designer cart. If you want to customize the cart page, you will see these available widgets, core designer others. These are other widgets, customer reviews, my account tabs, gradient button, image comparison, currency switcher. So in this video, I'll show you how you can use these widgets on your WooCommerce website and how you can customize the layout using the free plugin. In the upcoming video, I'll install the pro plugin and I'll show you how you can use the pro plugin widgets also. So let's see how we can install a free plugin to customize the WooCommerce website in the Elementor. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm using Elementor on this website. I have created one WooCommerce demo website using Elementor and now I'm going to install a free plugin which will help you customize the WooCommerce shop. So let's go to dashboard and go to plugins click on add new here search for code designer this is the name of the plugin code designer and this is the plugin best woocommerce builder for elementor click on install now and click on activate all right so the plugin is installed and it is activated in the left hand panel you will see the option code designer let's click on it so we are on the dashboard you will see documentation for this plugin blog customer support now let's go to widgets here you will see the widgets which are available in this plugin click on free and here you will see the list of all the free widgets that you can use on your elementor woocommerce shop widgets related to shop shop classic shop standard shop curvy and shop slider so we can also create slider this is the filter this is for the single product if you want to customize the single product page layout, you can use these widgets. Then we have others. Under others, we have my account, customer reviews, 
tabs basic image comparison pricing table is there pricing table advanced and pricing table basic a related products this is for the related products if you want to add the related products on any single product page you can use these widgets image gallery and the cart option is there we do not have anything for the checkout and email now if i go to pro you will see all these pro widgets are available we have cart checkout and email customizer is there and some widgets for the email also email header email footer email reminder checkout floating cart option is also there that is this is under the pro plugin filter vertical filter advanced shop flip shop 20 if you want to see how does this look you can go to the demo and you will see how the widget looks this is for the shop flip so these are the product listed on the shop page and when you move the cursor on it it will flip the product let's try this one this is how this shop option will look let's go to this one all right so this one also looks good so these options are available in the pro plugin so let's go to free option and enable all the options and click save settings so all the widgets will be enabled let's go to modules here you will see some modules here let's go to free and for the free plugin you have these modules product brands add to cart text skip card page partial payment flash sale bulk purchase discount is also available these are for the free if i go to pro you will see all these modules are available in the pro plugin email designer invoice builder checkout builder so let's go to free and enable all these modules click on save settings now here you will see product brands you can see the settings of the brands add to cart this is add to cart option you can change the text on the add to cart button variation swatches is also available you can enable the variation swatches flash sale in the upcoming videos i'll try to cover all these modules as of now in this video i'll show you how to use some of the widgets using the free plugin you will also see the partial payment option here back orders pre-orders bulk discount badges and currency switcher is also available now let's go to the next option that is templates here you will see some templates are already created this is for i guess the menu card 03 faq accordions so these are the templates that you can use let's go to tools so these are the basic tools for this plugin help and support and the pro features now i'm going to create a new page and i'll show you how you can use these widgets on the shop page if you want you can also customize the layout of the shop page if you are using elementor pro you can go to the elementor theme builder and in the theme builder you can use these widgets to create the shop page layout as well as to create the single product page layout in a woocommerce website i'm going to work on a single page i'm going to create a new page here so let's click on new page and name it as new shop click save in this example i'm using elementor hosting and i'm using a demo website which is created on the elementor hosting i'm using elementor pro which is provided in the elementor hosting itself i have published a separate video on how to use the elementor hosting if you want to watch that video i'll give you the link in the description box so here we are on the new shop page and let's add new section here let's add some padding all right now i'm going to add a new widget that will be from the co-designer plugin so let's minimize all these widgets pro general and here you will see the co-designer shop these are nothing but the widgets from the co-designer plugin so let's start with the shop slider so this is basically the shop slider where products will be shown in a slider right now let's go to the basic settings animation speed auto play yes it is turned on arrows you will see the arrows here show at once right now it is showing two products i'm going to make it three products so it will slide three different products alignment vertical or horizontal so this is how the vertical will look you can add that in the, in the sidebar I'm going to use the horizontal layout. Let's go to layout here to the right or to the left. So you will see the content. The image is on the right hand side now. 
if I change it to right, it will go to the right side. Product source will be shop page. So we are going to show the products from the shop. Custom query, if you want to enable any custom query, you can enable it. Ascending order, how many products do you want to show in the slider? It is set to six products. You can change the number. Product image on click zoom. So if someone clicks on it, it will open the image. Next is sale ribbon. If there is any sale going on for a particular product, it will show the ribbon. Stock text. If there is any product out of stock, you will see the message there. You will see the sale ribbon just like this. Next is card that is for the pro. Wish list is also for the pro. Flash sale. If you want to show any flash sale, you can show the flash sale also. Back order is available. Pre-order and the badge. So these are the basic settings of this product slider. If you want to change the style settings, you will see the style settings option here. You can play with the style settings and you can change the style settings. Now next I'm going to add another widget from the shop. Let's try this one shop curvy drag it and drop it here and this is how it will look this is the shop curvy widget it is using four columns you can change the number of columns next is product source will be again shop how many products i'm going to change it to number eight so it will show eight products here product image if you click on it it will open in a zoom or it will go to product page so let's change it to product page so if someone clicks on it it will go to that particular product page stock ribbon again it will show the stock cart divider wish list is for the pro plugin pagination is available you will see the pagination at the bottom all right so this is the second widget let's go to the widgets again and let's try any other pro widget this is for the single product if you want to create something on the single product you can use these widgets here you will see a filter option let's try this one I'm going to add it at the top and this one is filter horizontal so it will show the filter options in a horizontal layout so this is the title filter you can change it button alignment right left so I'm going to keep it on the right and these are the options price sort order and search you will see the price option here then we have sort for sorting we have these options here title name product price top seller and you can select from these options top rated is also there so if you if i click on it you will see these options are available order for the order we have ascending or descending then we have search box then we have clear all option and apply button again if you want to change the style settings you can change the style settings right now let's see what else we can use on the shop page here we have related product that you can add on the single product page, co-designer image gallery. Let's try this one. Drag it and drop it here. It will show three columns. We need to select some images. So I'm going to select some images. All right, and you'll see 12 images and columns are three. I can change it to four columns. And this is how it will look. So it is a simple gallery. If I click on it, it will open the light box. All right, now let's move on to the next widget. My account, you can use it on the my account page of your WooCommerce shop. Customer reviews. Let's try this one. And this is how it will look. Here you can go to the reviews and add the name, description and the content of the review. You can also add the image. Let's try this one. And you will see it here. So you can showcase the reviews, slider animation. You can also add slider. If I increase the number of reviews, it will create slider, I guess. Yes, it is creating a slider show at once is three so we are using three columns here let's move on to the next one here we have some tabs option let's try one of these i'm going to drag it and drop it here we have got two tabs here let's add more tabs 
and you will see it like this. So this is a fancy tab. You can change the content from here and you will see it here. So this is the title and add some description there. Let's try another tab. Let's try this one. All right, so this one is different. All right, we can change the color of the tabs. Let's try this one. All right, so you will see four different tabs here. If I click on it, it will show the content from this tab. So you can change the content. You can also change the style settings from here. This is the height. You can change the height. Let's try image comparison. So we can add two different images here. So I'm going to use this one. And for this one, I'm going to use another. Let's try this one. So we have got two different images here. And this is how it will look. All right, now let's publish this page and let's see how does this look. All right, so at the top you will see the filter option that we have added. Then we have the product slider. Then we have another shop, which is shop curvy that we used. The images are circular. Then this is the image gallery. Then we have reviews, then tabs. This is another tab and this is image comparison. So if I click on this option, it will go to that product page. Now you can customize the layout of the single product page. This is the current layout of the single product page. You can also use these widgets in the product page layout. Let's go to theme builder here. Let's go to templates, then theme builder. On this website, I'm using Elementor Pro to customize the layout of the shop page as well as the single product so i'll go to single product and go to edit all right so this is the single product page layout now if i want to use the co-designer widget i can simply drag and drop that widget in this single product page layout for example we have one option here which, which is showing related products i can use the related products from the co-designer also here you will see the single product options, the widgets which can be used to create the single product page. Add to cart, product SKU, the ratings option is there. All right, now let's try this related product curvy. I'm going to use it at the bottom. And you will see this new layout of the related product page curvy. Let's add a divider here. This is the related products widget that we have used. Let's click on update. And let's go to one of the single product and refresh it. Now if I scroll down, you will see this newly added related products widget in a single product page layout. So this one also looks good. You can customize it. You can change the style settings and you can make it look better than the default Elementor widgets. So the free plugin has many widgets that you can use to customize the WooCommerce shop on your Elementor website. In the upcoming video, I'm going to install the pro version of this plugin and I'll show you how to use the widgets which are available in the pro version of the Core Designer plugin. So this is how you can install the free plugin to customize the WooCommerce shop on your Elementor website. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.